everybody. We are hanging out today in Austin. It's a beautiful day. Victoria has talked me into coming and checking out Hella Bad Broncos, yes. which is a local shop here in Austin, Texas. They're up north in Lakeway. And it's pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna go meet with Jesse and his wife, Mariah. Mariah. They're the owners of this place. They're gonna give us a shop tour, tell us what they do here, show us some Broncos, educate me on this world that I don't know a lot about. Yep. And then I, uh, I see some Cobras behind me that I'm gonna try and talk them into letting me uh, take at least a ride in, maybe drive, who knows. <laughs> Probably not, but uh, this sounds like fun. Yep. This is my wife's Bronco. This was her wedding present oh, nice. when we got married. Thanks. This is your car? <laughs> yes. Come in, come and get in here. Tell us about it. Oh, Don't let him take all the credit. Oh no. Well, I owe all the credit to him because he made my dreams come true on yeah. my wedding day when he bought it for me for my wedding present, my Patina Bronco. Yeah, this thing is right. And he also named it Scrappy, which was kind of funny because when I was a kid, I had this little toy that I took with me everywhere. Yeah. And I called it Scrappy, so it's nice. kind of funny. And he didn't know about it. I had no idea. That's just... And then he's upgrading it for me even more. So yeah. he's going to have the five speed in it, yeah. which I'm excited about, which is what he's gotten to his life. Am I able to lift this without destroying your life? Yeah, you got your, you got your Christmas set up here yeah, going, right? Yeah, should be good. I know. Our fun little lights. Mm -hmm. Our little scrappy. You might be able to. Yeah, there we go. So we did this one more of like a vintage throwback where we just use a bunch of old parts that we had. The motor's rebuilt and stuff like that. But it gives you a different vibe than what you would normally see. And yeah. She loves copper and so that's what we kind of went with. And it's got an air locker up front, runs 488 gears, Detroit locker in the rear. So your Bronco is basically fully built, ready for the trails. Yeah. Let's go, let's go look at that thing. Yeah. Show me that one. Show me a proper hella bad Bronco. That's what I want to see. Its name is Azul, which okay. is blue in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll start with the, the interior if you want to do that. All right. What we did is we wanted something that we could show the customer as well as do something as an upgrade for this. It's just time it needed to be upgraded. Yeah. So we start this off with nice. the full custom uh, blank dash, move the glove box door over so it's got room for the glove box door to drop down for the cage. Okay. For the AC, we wanted something unique, which we went with uh, Resto Mods uh, Helix vents, and then we did our own custom Hellabad gauge. Okay. And I just, this is just my style. I want something clean, simple, but yet tasteful. Now, the most asked question is how did you do the paint? So I spent countless hours on this I didn't thing. Shut that enough. Got to shut it like a man. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it, it used to be all blue. Okay. But the original color is this medium turquoise, which is 1968. Yeah. So it had two different layers of blue on it. And I sanded down past the blue, past the medium turquoise past the primer and then got to the metal. So I patterned it just kind of how the sander took and what it really kind of needed to flow. It's cool. I like tried to tie in as much as I could yeah. to kind of meet a design. It's and, very organic looking. And it, it kind of just worked. And uh, I dig it. Just different, you know, when you, mm -hmm. go to, when you go to a Bronco event, you see hundreds of Broncos and they're all red, green, blue, black, whatever color. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that stands out like this. You know, all the patina and unique style ones kind of really draw your attention because yeah. they're one off. Yeah, you can't really replicate it very easily, right? No, no, not at all. It just took years. And then this you clear coated kind of, over it, right? We did, yeah. Okay. To keep it as right. is, as it should. Correct. Yeah. The front end is a Dana 44 with 488 gears. Okay. It's a Detroit locker up front, all chrome molly, disc brakes, hydro boost, and ram assist. All what you need to go on and off road. This thing will crawl over just about anything I want. And it'll still do 100 miles an hour on the highway. And I can let off the steering wheel. I mean, nice. it just, it drives really good. That's crazy. This is a 95 Mustang Roller 302. The heads are World Product, World Product Boss 302 heads. Okay. They're iron, they're not aluminum, but they are fully built. The cam is a Ford Racing G303, which is a torque cam that was built for the 351 Windsor. So putting it into a 302, it kind of gives you that low end torque, nice little grumble, but still have the RPM rev that you want. Mm. It'll wrap up to 6,500. It sounds like a race truck when it's up in those RPMs. Oh yeah. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, we just have fun doing this. You know, we get to go play with Broncos. We get to build Broncos. Mm -hmm. All the Bronco people in the community are just instant family. It's uh, just one of those things that's just fun. Oh, yeah. It doesn't feel like I'm working at all. That's good. Yeah. It's kind of like how drifting is for me. Yeah. So it's it's all about kind of following thing. your passion. Yep. It's all about fun too. Like you don't want to have big egos and people, you know, no, not at all. just Help ruining everybody. it. <laughs> yeah.
want to take a look at these things. Tell us about these. So these are backdraft racing cobras. They're built in South Africa. They're actually two inches wider and longer than your standard cobra. This one is your traditional 427, which is actually a small block. It's not a big block. And it is built by Roush. It houses 550 horse. Nice. It sounds like it's supercharged because of the, the, the belt style uh -huh. that's on here. Yeah. But it's uh, a torque monster. Absolute blast to drive. That looks amazing. This car is beautiful. Uh, they ride on BMW suspension. Okay. So E36. Yep. So they handle like a European sports car. They break awesome. It's, it's just a go-kart on steroids pretty much with a classy look. This is the Jack Roush edition and it's signed by Jack Roush. That's rad. I'll give you a peek at what this guy sounds like. Yeah, please do. Carbureted. Uh-huh. This one just got a rebuild, it's not fully tuned yet. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I love it. Was, and this one's yours? This one's mine. This one's name is Odin, which is the god of war and poetry. Odin. It runs a Toyo proxy with a, it's a 335, so it actually gets traction and yeah. it does pretty well. This one is a first generation Coyote motor, puts about 407 to the wheels. Starts right up. Yep, modern. Take it to Coda. Coda, Harris Hill, wherever there's a road I can get on. Sick. I like the coach. <laughs> the ghost flames too yeah this is a tuxedo black yeah with uh, gloss black and racing stripes mm -hmm. that's sick they are absolutely a blast to drive there's nothing like them can i get a ride yeah Sweet. <laughs> Thank you for the, the cruise there. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Woo! Oh, Beautiful yes, cars. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, this is legit. This feels raw, doesn't it? I know, right? You're like, we shouldn't be allowed to have this much fun. I can't decide which one I like more. Okay. Yeah, they're both so good. Right?
Coyote swap. He said it's a first gen Coyote. Yep, first gen Coyote. 407 to the wheels, all stock for now. Yeah, which is rad. So now I get to feel what like a more modern version of a Cobra would be. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Something broke. Freaking cars, man. <laughs> I know. Oh. So that's, that's that's kind of part of it, you know. You have 335 R compounds on it, oh, yeah. and uh, driving like that on the street, eventually something's gonna. Oh yeah. Happen, but... I'd rather it uh, break now than I'm at a track. Oh for sure. Well, that was super fun though. This thing is sick. Yeah. I definitely can feel and tell the difference in the more modern version. Yeah. Better tires, nicer suspension, I guess, than than the other one. Maybe the suspension was the same, but. Um, yeah, the suspension's the same. Yeah. Uh, but engine and, and now. tires, right? Like. Yeah. Totally can tell the difference. This one's amazing. Like this is absolutely, you could daily it. You got a stereo in it. Everything works yep. as it should and, and it idles and it's man, quiet. It's quiet. Until yeah. you get on it. Right, Until exactly. It, this thing is nice. I love it. I didn't know that they were slightly longer and wider than the uh, original design either. That's pretty cool. because he's literally going to knock it off with hammer. this hammer. Yeah, which is a stout hammer. Feel it. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is a fun part. So on these cars, to uh, tighten them, they always you have to hit towards the back of the car. So to loosen them, you actually tighten them. There it goes. Nice. So we're gonna go ahead and end this here. I already broke one of his cars. I didn't break it though. It was, it was all Jesse, <laughs> but did. yeah, it was uh, it was super fun. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh man, this is a really cool visit. If you guys are in Austin, I highly recommend you come check out Hella Bad Broncos. Thanks again to Mariah and Jesse for having us out, and uh, Victoria for talking me into coming and checking out this whole new world of cars I don't know about. So uh, yeah, if uh, if they want to find you on Instagram, where are they gonna find you? Hell bad Broncos. <laughs> All right, easy enough. Yeah, pretty cool. easy. Yeah, thank you guys for coming. Yes. It was, yeah. it was a pleasure. You. Absolutely. Thank this was you. fun. Thanks for having us. Yeah. We'll be back when you get all those new upgrades uh, put on the Cobra and I'll, yeah. I'll come check yeah, out. Yeah, it won't be long. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I'm very impatient. Yeah. yeah. He's got a bunch of stuff uh, shipping over from all parts of the world, so uh, it's going to be even faster. His goal, which I think is amazing and ambitious, is to pass a GT3 at Coda in this Cobra here. So that's going to be pretty sick. I hope that happens. And uh, if it does, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go out there and film it. Yeah. Sweet. All right, awesome. I need a lot of practice. It's a crazy <laughs> yeah. car. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. appreciate you guys subscribing and continuing along with the channel. Again, check them out on Instagram. And if you're in Austin, come say what's up. They've yeah, got like 32 up. Broncos <laughs> here and all that. It's 28. 28. Yeah, there's a bunch. There's a whole bunch. Okay. I couldn't count that high. No, I can't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? Um, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, there you go. comment, there you and go. share, and all the YouTube things. Yep. And we'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>